Hello UT. This is Dr. Bipes, a learning point. In this video, we will study about the difference between phlebothrombosis and thrombophlebitis. Basically, we will understand what these two terms mean. So, first let's start with phlebothrombosis. Now, break this into two terms. One is phlebo and one is thrombosis. Phlebo means veins and thrombosis means thrombus formation. So, as the term says, it means thrombi in slow sluggish venous circulation. Correct? There is formation of thrombi in slow sluggish venous circulation. Now, there are some points which has to be remembered regarding phlebothrombosis. First is, the veins can be both deep veins and superficial veins of lower extremity. Correct? Second point is, venous stasis is a predominating factor. Like if you have stasis in the blood flowing in the veins, then phlebothrombosis will occur. So venous stasis is the precipitating factor. Third point. Phlebothrombosis can propagate in both the directions. Like it does not stay in one place. It can propagate in both directions. And the fourth point about phlebothrombosis is that it is almost invariably occlusive in nature. Meaning, if it is formed in the veins, then it will cause occlusion. Now, you have to know about the complications of phlebothrombosis. If phlebothrombosis occurs, what can happen? So next is complications. What might happen? One. You can have thrombophlebitis, which we will be discussing soon. Second, you can have impaired healing and ulceration. Third, there can be swelling of the affected limb. And fourth, there can be edema of the concerned vein. Actually, these two points are almost related. If you have edema, then that is characterized by swelling. So yes, now you should know what is Thrombophlebitis. As already discussed, it is one of the complications of phlebothrombosis. So you've got a hint. Thrombophlebitis. Thrombophlebitis. Now, this, as I always say, means inflammation. Phlebo already discussed means veins. And thrombus means thrombi formation, thrombus formation. So there is a thrombus formation in the vein which has led to inflammation. Okay. So what it is, it is characterized by painful thrombosed veins. Painful thrombosed veins. Second, already discussed, it is a complication of phlebothrombosis. Third, if that thrombi gets infected, then it, it will lead to tender palpable swelling of the affected vein. So, infected thrombi leads to tender palpable swelling of affected vein. So, yeah, these were about the terms phlebothrombosis. And thrombophlebitis. Hope it is now clear to you. Main point of difference is that phlebothrombosis is a condition and that leads to thrombophlebitis.